Hey guys, welcome back to the table. My name's Doolin, and today we're gonna talk about the Sushi Universe and which one of these, if any of them, you need. Sushi Go Party is actually a staple in my house already. Emily and I like to play it at two player. We love to break this out when we have a group of people. It led to our love for the rest of these as well. We've played Sushi Go, like the base game, it's on uh, vacations because it fits well in bags. And also Sushi Roll is the one that we've recently played a couple of times just to kind of get used to the ideas that it brings because it is different than these two and in its mechanics and, and whatnot. We're gonna first talk about the similarities between these games. Then after that, we'll go to each of them individually and discuss what are the benefits of owning this version. Then at the end, I'll give you my final thoughts as to which ones I think you should own, which ones I think you could pass on, and honestly, which type of person would enjoy each of these, because I think any of these three could find their way into somebody's collection, and I wouldn't be mad about it. You just gotta make sure that you're getting the right kind for you. So to start things off, the similarities between these. Obviously the theme is incredibly important across the board. It's cute little sushi things. Uh, I, I mean, they're they're... They got faces. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. It, it's cute. Uh, the, it's very colorful on every single uh, board, every single game. And then you also have a drafting mechanic that occurs in all of them. You're, you're drafting these different pieces of sushi uh, or what would come with sushi, like miso soup or something like that, in order to score points. Um, in a in a unique way for each of those. So it's it's kind of a point salad in that sense where you're trying to connect uh, or complete sets of things in order to score the most points more than everyone else. Each game is also played in only three rounds and it's actually very simple to teach all three of these. It's there You can be a new player to this and jump in within 10 minutes maybe and, and be ready to play the game. Let's first talk about the the ways I think Sushi Go base is actually superior to its uh, its predecessors, I guess, uh, is what you can call it. One obvious one is portability. This game is so, so small, it can fit in a lot of um, backpacks or uh, drawers or places on your shelf. If you have a limited shelf space, Sushi Go is great for that. It is also maybe the simplest. Sushi Go Party and Sushi Roll are just a little more complicated than Sushi Go Base. Uh, and on top of that, it's it's very, very fast. You don't need a whole lot of setup. You just pull out the cards and boom, you're going right at it. On top of that, it's the cheapest option between all three of these. It, it is the cheapest, the smallest, the easiest by far. If you're looking for an easy way to just jump into the Sushi Go universe, this one might be the one for you. Sushi Go Party is actually just more Sushi Go. So if you like base Sushi Go, the benefit to Sushi Go Party is that it adds a whole lot more to the game. In fact, it is probably the most replayable out of these three. The fact that you can build your own menu, which is an option in this game, you're gonna be using only a limited amount of cards in a game, and then the next time you play, you can add in a whole new set of types of cards that will score wildly different than the last ones, and in that way, it adds way more interest to me to come back to it. I'm gonna wanna play with a multiple different uh, options and multiple different mixtures of cards and see how they, how they play better, which ones are actually better to go for when X card is also in play, and by the, by the time you've played like seven or eight rounds of Sushi Go, you feel like you got a pretty good idea of how to play it well. Whereas Sushi Go Party, it might take you a really long time. Uh, in fact, with Sushi Go Party, you can also play up to eight players, meaning that it's gonna be chaos if you're trying to read the room and remember what was in what deck you just passed around and oh my goodness, I completely forgot and oh my goodness, why are there this many miso soups? I just want that three points. Like it, it's it's interesting, it's wild sometimes, it's a really, really fun uh, game to play. So Sushi Go Party, that is the second one that came out. And lastly, they decided to go with a dice version 
of the previous two. In fact, if you read the rules, there's a little snippet in there where the game actually tries to tell you why it would even exist to begin with. It says, hey, Sushi Go is popular. Dice rolling is popular. Let's make a version of Sushi Go that combines those two. And that's exactly what they did. They, they took the base game where you're drafting. Actually, it, it has nothing to do with Sushi Go Party, really. But they took the, all of the things, all of the pieces of sushi, all of the extra little things, wasabi, uh, all of that, and added it to Sushi Roll. Sushi Roll has them all on dice. And there's like different types of dice, just like there's different types of things, like there's appetizers, there's your main dishes, uh, there's your desserts. Like all of those have their own specific type of dice in this game. And you'll roll them all and you'll have a pool in front of you. You'll see everybody's hand, I guess, or their pool in front of them. A benefit to this game is, is just that. There's not a whole lot of unknown. All right, you know everything that's going to be passed to you. So you can plan two, three, four moves ahead, potentially. Uh, also, something I really like about this style of game is if you're a person who likes rolling dice like me, you get that moment at the very beginning of each round where you roll it and you find out what you're gonna get next, and that's awesome. On top of that, something that can ha happen in base Sushi Go is counting cards. If you play this game enough, you start developing strategies based around what you know the final round might have, whereas this, every item number is randomized by those die rolls at the beginning. And on top of that, you actually have more agency of control over the dice because of little menu uh, uh, tokens and also little chopstick tokens. You play those in order to steal dice from other people's uh, pools and bring them to your own and you can pick them or you can even use a menu, I believe does this, where you re-roll one of the dice to try to get one of the other sides of it. It's interesting. I think it adds a little more strategy to the game than the other two have. It, it definitely adds some more depth and it's and it's, it's relatively still just as fast. Uh, so Sushi Roll, Sushi Go Party, Sushi Go. I'm gonna give you my bottom one first. The one that I think is the least important to own. That's hard for me to say because I still think that there's a reason, and I'm gonna own all three. Uh, there's still a reason for me to own all three. Uh, the first one, my least favorite of all of them is just base Sushi Go. Now I say this and it's hard because I, I love that it's like so, so small. It can fit into spaces. And the reason I think that maybe you should own this version is if you like Sushi Go Party and you want to be able to pack it because my goodness is this 10 always coming open if I try to take it with me. I can obviously tape it down. It's just annoying. Like this right here is way simpler. It's gonna fit into smaller spaces and I can still get that base Sushi Go experience without having to pay $10 more and without having to waste the space in my trunk or wherever uh, I'm packed, backpack, whatever you wanna say. Um, so base Sushi Go is still good. It's a, certainly an excellent experience, but I still think that Sushi Go Party because it's so similar, is just the better option to own. And that leads me to my second choice, which is actually Sushi Roll, which shouldn't come as any surprise because I, I'm very high on Sushi Go Party. But Sushi Roll is an excellent game. I, I think that it takes base Sushi Go and makes it even more interesting to me. It's not as cute. The dice certainly lose that aspect of cuteness that are on the card. So if you're like, ah, I miss, I'm gonna miss that maybe pass on this, but the experience that it brings, the, the, the level of complexity that the game adds with the dice and being able to manipulate them and also steal from others and being able to see their pools is just interesting to me. I think that it does that really, really well. And I think that for those who are looking for a little more challenge than what Sushi Go brings, Sushi Roll is for you. And then lastly, number one, in my opinion, is Sushi Go Party. And Sushi Go Party, I think if you are going to only own one, this is the way to go. It's just excellent. It adds more player player count. It adds more variability. It adds more replayability. It's just all in all the best version of the game. And I love creating the menu every single time. My wife loves that too. We love it at two. We love it at eight. It's just a great game to pull out to introduce players to. Uh, if you only want one, 
Absolutely. Sushi Go Party is the best option. It is actually the second cheapest. Sushi Roll is the most expensive, uh, probably because it's easier to make cards than it is a dice game. But Sushi Go Party is excellent and worth every dollar I've spent. I've put it way higher than some of the more expensive games I own, and it's just good. So again, Sushi Go Party, best option if you want a good Sushi Go experience. And if you're looking for a little more challenge or a little more agency, I guess, over what's going on, Sushi Roll is a great option to own. If you're a person who likes dice more than card games, Sushi Roll is a great one to own as well, but I still think Sushi Go Party is better. And then lastly, if you're a person who really can't afford the shelf space or afford either of these games, or you really just want a great portable game to take on vacations, Sushi Go is a great option, just base Sushi Go. Uh, it's small, it's compact, and it's a great game for how cheap and how small it is. I, I can't express that enough. Even though it is the last option, I would say it is still, still worth it. Uh, so that is Sushi, the Sushi board game universe in a nutshell. I'm looking forward to what they're going to come out with next. We'll see if it's anything. Uh, they might say we're done, but I would highly doubt it just based off of their uh, success uh, in all of these. I would say we're probably gonna see some more. I would actually love to see a sushi roll party come out where you can play with up to eight people. But until then, we'll have to just rank these. So lastly, once more, Sushi Go Party. Sushi Roll, then Sushi Go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please let us know, leave a comment, leave a like our way, and if you didn't, let us know why. It's probably because Max wasn't here, and I get it. He's still in Canada, and I know he's having a blast, but hopefully he'll be back soon so that we can enjoy more Max content, because my gosh, I certainly do. <laughs>